So you guys may or may not know, but I've played quite a bit of Melee over the past few years. And, uh... All right, I'm terrible. Honestly, I'm convinced that I'm not very good at the game, period. But at the same time, I've never really just sat down and just played the game for like eight hours straight to see whether I was good or not. So that's what I decided to do. I literally played the game for eight hours straight and this is what happened. All right, so it is 9 a.m., which normally isn't that early, but... I only got four hours of sleep, maybe. Regardless though, for the first hour, what we're gonna be practicing is dash dancing. I'm gonna practice dash dancing as tight as I can, as far as I can. I'm gonna practice dash dancing on platforms without falling off. I'll also try to go across the stage while dash dancing. Uh, but yeah, well, we're gonna be doing that for an hour straight and we're gonna see how good we are at the end of it. All right. So, it is 10 o'clock, I've been doing this for an hour, and I gotta say my thumb is cramping up, but although I already felt really consistent with dash dancing, holy crap, that looks so sick. I feel even more consistent than before, especially when it's just dash dancing in place for a while. I was able to go back and forth dash dancing on Battlefield two times, so a total of going across four times, which is probably the best I've ever done. I'm consistently able to dash dance on different platforms, which before I couldn't do. One thing that always gets me is I forget how long Captain Falcon's dash dance can be. Like this is freaking long, that's so good. I love having like a good dash dance. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna focus on wave, wave dashing. So I'm gonna be, you know, wave dashing back and forth, wave dashing in place. I'm gonna be doing some wave lands. I'm definitely less consistent with that than I am dash dancing, so we'll see how the training works. All right, it's 11 o'clock. My wrists are killing me. You know, one thing that's a little disappointing is I assumed if I just sat here and dash danced for an hour, right, I'd get it like super consistent. But I'm still making mistakes. Sometimes my light shield comes out, sometimes I hop. I definitely can tell I'm more consistent. Like I can do this maybe five times in a row. Maybe I'll come back and do this practice again later. I still feel like I did improve at wave dashing, even if it's not enough. And I really just want to do something different because holy crap, my wrist. So I'm going to be practicing shuffling next, which is just uh, shortening the landing lag of my moves so I can throw out moves more quickly. Chances are, if you know anything about melee, you already know what this is. But that's one thing I struggle with a lot. What in a game I can never shuffle properly. I can't cobble my moves together. So I'll let you know how that goes and I'll see you in an hour. All right, it is 12. I am very tired. I'm getting somewhat consistent. I feel like I'm gotten better, especially with my back airs. I feel like I could do back airs like 15 times in a row. So next what we're gonna be focusing on is angling our recovery, I guess, whether that's tried to land on a platform, which I'll end up slap, swapping to a stage of platforms, or I'm just off stage and trying to go straight to the ledge without popping too far above it. Oh, I suck. The goal is to just get more comfortable off stage. I, I'm also going to be trying to uh, recover just a little closer, close enough to where I can just barely make it onto stage and not the ledge as like a mix-up as well. So I'm going to practice that for an hour. 
All right, it's one o'clock. I've practiced recovering from different locations, back to the edge, mixing up my recoveries, landing on different areas of the stage, practice fadebacks, which I'm still not really getting down yet. I think I need to just spend more time practicing this another day. Or if I have time later, I might uh, practice this some more. But yeah, I feel a lot better about my recoveries already. And I feel generally just more comfortable just being off the edge, knowing where I can like go back to the ledge, when I can make it onto stage, you know, etc. Next though, I'm gonna hit you with a spicy mix-up. We're gonna play three games online now that we've hit the halfway point, and then we're going to analyze those games. You won't see any of the analyzing, we'll be doing that in a post, wink. But you get the idea. I'm comfortable enough to where I feel like I will actually notice a difference in my play compared to usual, so I'll get back to you. I don't know. I guess I'm, after the hour, I, I guess I'm playing, like, probably the same, but I, I can identify at least the problems with my play now. Whereas before, it's just I, I felt like I had no clue what I was doing right or wrong at all. I mean, that's okay, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty demoralized. My fingers are hurting, and I've put over five hours into this now, and... I don't have anything to show for it, and it's bothering me. I guess I'll just practice something, I'll figure it out. So after being demoralized, I decided to uh, screw it, I'm just gonna practice versus other players for a while. And something kind of crazy happened. I started playing just a little bit more consistently than I normally do. And, of course, I still died and lost pretty much every single game, but I was playing, but I could notice the consistency. And honestly, that just completely changed my attitude. I started enjoying myself and I started playing even better, and before I realized it, I had completely finished the 8 hours. So all in all, I'd say this was a success. I feel like I've improved. As a side note, I've gained a completely newfound respect for pro players when it comes to pretty much melee, but in any game as well. Being able to consistently do this, wake up, perform for 8 hours, rest and then do it again the next day, over and over, that is absurd to me. I know for a fact that I could not keep doing this. My hands would give out in a week, two week tops, like it's just, this is unrealistic. For the average person you have to be crazy to be able to play games like this consistently with the mindset of like trying to compete so what does this mean does this mean i'm swapping over to being a melee channel uh am i going to be trying to get my gameplay to the next level no honestly i don't even really want to look at the game right now uh more dead by daylight videos coming soon <laughs>